Hello. I'm Hi. always ready. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I know. You ready? Always ready. <laughs> uh, I'm the one that hits record, so I'm always ready. That's the way it goes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, thank you for tuning in to Creating Connections Podcast, episode number 98. I am Gittimer Certified Advisor, Mitch Taylor. And I'm Certified Personality Trainer, Vicki Wisney. Did you know 98 was the year I got married? I think I did know that. Yeah. You got I married did. in 96, right? Yes. Yes, we did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah, 96, I was, uh, met my wife in 96. That's when it was going on mm-hmm. in 96. Yeah, we didn't know. We were just two years off. I met my husband in 1994. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. So today we're going to be talking about our recent trip to Salt Lake City, Utah. Yes. And specifically, the, the Mountain West chapter of the National Speakers Association Speaker Showcase. That was an amazing experience. It was a really cool event to get to be a part of. Yeah. And so, what specifically we're going to talk about here is. You got to listen. More after the break. (laughs) That was a tease. (laughs) So I think it's the the why we did it and the what we learned, I think, is what I want to hear. Okay. Welcome back to Creating Connections Podcast, episode number 98. I am Mitch. And I'm Vicki. And today we're going to talk about the NSA... Mountain West Speaker Showcase. And no, it doesn't stand for the National Sheriff's Association. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Uh, NSA is for the National Speakers Association. Yep. And we had a great time out in Salt Lake, right? The whole experience was really incredible. Um, I've been a member of NSA National for about a year and a half, but I don't have a local chapter where I live. So back in October at Wedding MBA, I was talking to our friend and colleague and past guest on the show, Rob Frey, and said, hey, I think I want to come visit your chapter in Salt Lake City. I know you. I know that you're on the board. I know that I can tell that your chapter is really active and has a lot of great members. I really want to dive a little deeper what should I do? And he said, you know, we've got this really cool event um, coming up in January and you could even, you know, get involved and actually do a little eight minute presentation and get to hear the other speakers. But I couldn't really wrap my brain around what it was. And after experiencing it, I actually was trying to describe it to some other people. And I said, it's kind of like being at TEDx, but on steroids because the speakers are actually, the times are actually shorter and there's more of them. <clears throat> Which, if you can imagine, just if you ever had the privilege or pleasure of being in a TEDx audience and just getting to sit there all day and hear speaker after speaker with thoughts and stories and ideas and experiences, it's incredible. And that's really essentially what this was. We were two of 40 speakers. Yes, two of 40 speakers. It was an amazing experience. And, you know, to me, you always need to get out of your comfort zone. And I just joined NSA. Yes. And it was an amazing experience for me. And I, I was hoping to go to the Wisconsin chapter and see Shep Hyken uh, this past, like uh, three weeks ago, I guess it was. Mm-hmm. And couldn't make that trip uh, for various reasons. And really excited that, you know, NSA Mountain West was my first foray into the National Speakers Association. And it was a great experience. And I think... You know, we always hit on the the why, right, Mm -hmm. of what we do. And for me, the why was, yes, you're getting recorded and you're getting feedback from the other speakers about how you did and what you can do better. That's part of the why for me. But the other why for me was to really step outside of my comfort zone. For sure. (laughs) <laughs> and, and that's why I wanted to bring it up today. If this is an episode is not just about, hey, Mitch and I had this really cool experience. We got to do this. No. But I think my, my heart behind wanting to share this with you is just to show you that just like you and just like we encourage you to do, to keep growing, keep learning, try new things, connect with new people. 
we try to live that out. And, yes. and honestly, going to my first live NSA event was, uh, was a little intimidating. I didn't know what to expect. Like, I might think I'm a decent speaker and in my Toastmasters club, I'm definitely in the, the top tier, but what about this other group of national speakers? How do I really measure up? Am I going to yes. fit in? Um, are people going to like me? I'm embarrassed to admit I'm in my forties, but I still think like that. I just, you know, I want to make some new friends. I want to make connections. What if they're not welcoming? And I think all those same fears, whether it's a conference or any other kind of event, if you haven't gone to something before, I think a lot of us think and feel that way still. Yes. I really enjoyed, really enjoyed the camaraderie that was there, the supportiveness. Supportiveness, is that a word? Sure. The, the support system that they gave us it was awesome. Well, in our case, all of the speakers served as the audience for yes. each other, if that makes sense. So, you know, when it was your turn or you were in that next group, maybe you'd hang to the back. But then once you were done, you'd go back and sit on the floor and uh, in the, in the, Not in the audience. Not on the floor, actually, but. <laughs> in that chair is in the audience. We sat on the floor. Be there. But it did. It made for a really encouraging and supportive audience because everybody's been in that position and they were either earlier in the morning or they were going to be later in the afternoon. Yes. And, uh, and the, but the group was just really welcoming. I mean, it was really, it was just really fun. People came over to us at lunch and said, Hey, I saw you, you know, over at the hall at the showcase and I wanted to introduce myself and yes, you know, just strike up conversations and sending Facebook yeah, the, messages. The people we met were just incredible. Jody and Michelle and Scott. And, and the other Michelle, there were two Michelles. Exane. Yes. Exane. Was I feel like it's got to be a little harder for, for the guys. I mean, the ladies that I met just in the restroom while we were like touching up our makeup and fluffing each other's hair and checking each other in the mirror for, you know, was our wardrobe working out okay? Or our jacket's going to be all right? Where are we going to hook, hook the microphone on? Just some of those conversations in the ladies' room. That's where friendship started for me. Yeah, so I don't I, know. The guys, I think, don't really experience that. Guys don't way. fluff each other. That's not a thing. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the borderline rating for our iTunes podcast. There we go. Yes, thank you for that. <laughs> I always have a way of taking something I say and making it into something I didn't mean it to be. <sighs> <laughs> so the, that's the why. And now the what? What did we gain out of this experience? And again, I want you to, to get out of this that we do practice what we preach mm -hmm. uh, from the what standpoint, but also what did we learn? We learned that, you know what? You don't have to sit in your box. You don't have to play small. In fact, you shouldn't play small. Mm -hmm. You should play big and grow because I was proud, proud. Yeah. To stand there and see a fellow colleague in Rob Foray absolutely rock it. Yeah, he emceed the, the whole morning. He co emceed the whole event, but he did the, the morning by himself and yes. then had another MC join him in the afternoon. Rob did a great job. I helped out with audio for the program and got to know a few of the speakers that way as well. And, you know, the, the what is seeing us, you know, Vicki, Rob, myself, be able to hang with national level talent. And that was cool. Mm -hmm. And it was that an was amazing really experience. Um, just sharing the stage with a woman who has climbed Mount Everest. Uh, the she, oldest woman to have ever climbed yes, Mount Everest. Yes. She's in her 60s. She spoke right before Right you, before me. Right? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Uh, amazing experience and the, and the conversations mm -hmm. that we had with people, it was just awesome. I love Michelle McCullough. She was great. Uh, Scott McIntosh kicked it off. He was, he was mm -hmm. awesome. Uh, when you have Rachel Ray and Jimmy Fallon giving you quotes, that's kind of a big deal. You know? Yeah. When you get those kind of endorsements. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the kind of company we, we kept with. And so the challenge for you, the, what I want you to learn out of this is that again, don't play small. Don't think, oh, I'm in little old Iowa or I'm in little, old, you know, Reno, Nebraska, <laughs> whatever. And uh, I can't do that. You can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. You know, don't, don't think you can't. You can. 
Well, and kind of my takeaway that I wanted to share too is that just like I encourage people when you're going to a conference or, you know, you have to have a plan. You have to, you know, go in knowing either who you want to connect with or how you plan to follow up with people, but you can't just expect it to happen. Yeah, I got lucky. We were, Rob and Mitch and I were sitting at lunch and another lady came over and introduced herself to us, but that doesn't always happen. There were other people that I just had to muster up my courage and yes. just walk over and introduce myself. I had to start the conversation, reach out, you know, my hand and, yes. and begin making a connection. I took lots of notes in my program about every single speaker. And again, in this case, it was a lot of people with a lot of different messages in a really short amount of time. And yeah. so I was taking notes about certain people, things that they said, um, ways they presented themselves. But then later that night, I took about an hour, hour and a half um, while you were at a sales meeting yes. and started sending Facebook messages, you know, the private messages to people. Hey, it was a really great to meet you. I, you know, loved hearing when you talked about whatever it was, trying yes. to make it something personal and just being proactive in who I wanted to connect with in the, con in the conversations I wanted to see happen and the friendships that I hope to see, to see grow. So you can't just sit and wait and, and then wonder why something wasn't worth it. <clears throat> right. You know, if you were going to invest time and energy and finances to attend something, any kind of an event, whether it was a one day thing like this, or if it's mobile beat or any other upcoming conference or show, in your area, you have to go in with a plan and be ready because you are only going to get out of it what you put in. Well, and even simply, you know, look at it from your business standpoint, you know, a bridal show list, you you know, you yes. can't just go there and show up and, oh, I'm here and then not work the list afterwards. Yep. You got to work the list afterwards. And then, you know, that show wasn't worth it to me. There wasn't any advantage that came out of it. It's because you, you didn't get out and do something with it. Mm -hmm. You know, it, too often we don't actually turn the mirror on ourselves. And that's what you got to do. You got to take personal responsibility for your own success or failure. So yes, we wanted to share about a fun trip that yeah. we had, but we also really want to encourage you to keep putting in the work. Yes, creating connections is fun. Yes. But if you want to develop good, healthy, strong business relationships and grow your network and increase, you know, your, expand your circle, you have to really work it. You There's have to try. work behind creating connections. Absolutely. Fun and work. That to me is key. <laughs> so please put in the work, put in the time. Your efforts will be rewarded. Maybe not right away, but down the line, they yeah. will be. You know, and uh, yeah, I, I'm just excited for that trip. It was a great trip. We had an mm -hmm. awesome experience. And learned a lot too. So absolutely. I hope you got a lot out of this episode. If you did, please comment down below. Uh, please give us a rating on iTunes. Let us know what you want to see in an upcoming podcast. We are quickly approaching podcast number 100. I'm so excited for episode 100. <clears throat> yes, because we're finally done. Oh, no. <laughs> well, we've hit a goal. I wouldn't say that we're done, but we are reaching a goal that we set for ourselves. Yes. But really, it's because of our special guest. I know we're not supposed to talk about it. Yeah. Uh, we have a special guest. We have a special guest. We have a special guest coming for episode 100. How do you know this and I don't? Because I'm in charge of the content for the show. Oh. Just because I let you talk first. Apparently we have a special guest for episode 100. Yeah, we do. Okay. Well, anyway, I'm excited to learn who that's going to be. Uh, it's going to be great, I'm sure, uh, mm -hmm. or it better be. <laughs> You'll be happy. You'll okay. be happy, I promise. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Check us out coming up at Mobile Beat Las Vegas. Vicky and I get to speak on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Just before the main keynote of the show, Jeffrey Gittimer. Yep. It'll be an amazing, amazing speaker. I guarantee if you've never had a chance to sit in the room with Jeffrey Gittimer, it'll be an amazing experience for you. I can't wait. A lot of great knowledge. Uh, also check us out at Creating Connections on iTunes. Search for the podcast. Uh, download, subscribe to it. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Give us a rating as well. You know, and Mobile Beat is coming up. And then also the week after that is the Photo Booth Expo. Yes. And if you're going to either or both of those shows, I really encourage you to take this episode to heart. Go to those shows with an open mind, an open plan. 
I don't know if I've shared this recently, but when I started going to Mobile Beat and other DJ shows, I wasn't even in the DJ industry. I owned a video company. Yeah. We didn't start doing entertainment till much later. So if you're watching this and you're like, why are you talking about going to Mobile Beat? I'm a photographer. Or I'm a videographer. Uh, you can still learn from those shows because they talk about events and you're with other business owners yeah. and you'll learn a lot. There's a lot so, you can learn from your other fellow professionals. Yeah. So. So don't write it off as, oh, I'm not a DJ, I can't go. Yeah, don't. Um, no, I learned so much from those shows. Um, Buy a ticket, before. put your yeah. butt in a seat, and have an open mind. And introduce yourself to people, shake hands, yes. create connections. So how much does a polar bear weigh? Just enough to break the ice. No. <laughs> I admit. Oh, boy. Thank you. <laughs> See, there's your opener for Mobile Beat. If you get stuck and you know what to, what to say to someone, there you go. Uh, thank you for joining us for Creating Connections <laughs> podcast, episode number 98. I'm Mitch. And I'm Vicki. See you soon. We'll see you next time. Bye. Have a great week.